In this video, let's work on the concept of the zero conditional mean and see how it relates to the omitted variable bias. So first of all, that criteria of the zero conditional mean is this. This is what it means. How do we read it? The expected value of the error term or the unexplained term given the independent variable, given the height of an individual must be equal to zero. What does this tell us? This is based on the initial regression, assuming that we have only height in our model. So what this is telling us is that the expected value, or better said, the error term, the error term is random. Why is that? Well, because for a certain height, for a certain height, we will have different predicted values of earnings. So for a certain height of an individual, let's call that 176 centimeters, we will have different earnings. Those earnings could be the following, just for the sake of the example. Same height, but we might have someone who earns, for instance, you know, $55,000 per year. Someone might earn uh, $51,000 a year and someone might earn $47,000 a year. Now, why do we have these differences? Same height by different results. Because of the specific factors. Recall, the error term is showing us the specific factors. So whatever factors that every individual have and we cannot observe. For instance, this guy might be more talented or maybe he's coming from a better family. It's something we do not precisely know and we cannot really measure. So we just include everything, all that in the error term. So in, a, in the best case scenario, this should be completely random. Like there should, shouldn't be a pattern, shouldn't be a relationship between the error term and the independent variable. Now, with that said, let's have a look here on the regression line. And we know that height has a positive effect on earnings. And we also know that it is biased. I'm trying to show this graphically how it's going to look and it's going to all make sense. So notice in the beginning, the distribution of the error term is uniform around, around the regression line. The red line is the regression line. Notice this. It has a hat, so it's regression, uh, regressed value. What this means is that the distribution of the error term initially is, uh, is normal. There's a normal distribution of the error term. So indeed, the error term behaves randomly in the beginning. All this variation in the results are due to specific factors. But what happens is that after a certain threshold over here, the distribution of the earnings is not normal anymore. Sorry, the distribution of the error term is not normal anymore. We cannot keep drawing this shape. What we noted is that the earnings increase very much with the height after a certain point. Why is that the case? Well, it's the case because of the omitted variable. Remember that height is correlated with education. That, that was the case, right? This table over here, the height is correlated. The height is correlated with education. So what this is telling us that higher and higher people are more and more educated and more and more educated, more and more education leads to more and more earnings. So the reason we're shooting for so high earnings, maybe, you know, 60, 70, $80,000 a year, it's because those people who are also higher are more educated and that extra education is affecting, is affecting their earnings. So the, the reason, the reason we cannot say that this holds true, this is not zero anymore. It's because for a given height, we can actually expect a different error term. We can predict better. We can predict better because we know, we know that we also have information for the education. So the error term is not going to be completely random. It's going to be dependent on the education itself because education is correlated with height. So in expectation, this is not going to be zero. In expectation, we will not have a normal distribution of the error terms. They are going to be normal up to a point, but beyond the point, they're going to be completely different. They're going to go in one direction. That's how this looks like. That's what the zero conditional mean uh, is telling us. And that's the reason we have omitted variable bias, because the omitted variable bias is telling us that the error term is not going to be random. It's actually going to depend on the variable that is missing, aka the omitted variable. So that's how this relates to the OVB. Hope this all makes sense and we're done.